My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma! Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Leticia here again with Made with Love by Glamour, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Today we're going to have lesson three of Tunisian crocheting and we're going to learn the Tunisian reverse stitch. So go ahead and get all your things ready. This is what we'll be needing. A Tunisian crochet hook, a crochet hook if you don't have a Tunisian crochet hook yet, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a small ball of yarn in whichever color you want to use. I'm using Red Heart Worsted Weight Yarn in the color pink. Okay, go get your stuff. Let's get started. Okay, so for the Tunisian reverse stitch, we're going to be working behind our work. So these are the front bars and these are the back bars and we're going to be picking up the back bars today. Okay, so this is the back bar and there's the front bar but we're not going to work into that first stitch because we already have the loop of that one so what we're going to do is let's see if we can separate these stitches there's the front and there's the back okay we're going to pick up that back one so what we're going to do is we're going to go between this front, this first stitch and this second stitch, okay? And we're going to go behind the front bar, okay? But in front of the back bar and pick up the back bar and then yarn over and then pick up that loop right there. That's pretty easy. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go between the second and third stitch and pick up that back bar. See, there's the back bar. And then yarn over and pick up a third loop. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way across till we get to the end. And it might take a little practice because we're working behind our work and it's harder to see. Okay, so there we are between the stitches. There's the back one and there's the front one. Pick up the back and then pick up the loop. Okay, let's just keep going. My doggie's making noises. She's moaning. <laughs> God, she works so hard sleeping all day. <laughs> okay. I'm going slow enough. I hope you can see. <laughs> okay, behind the front bar, but in front of the back bar, yarn over, pick up a loop. And for the very last stitch, we're also going to do the reverse stitch, but you can do it um, from the front um, because this one looks different than the rest of them. So you could do it from the front and the two ends would look the same but for teaching purposes since I'm teaching you the reverse stitch I'm going to show you how to do the reverse stitch on the very last stitch so we're in between the ninth and the tenth stitch go behind the front bar picking up both the back bar and that third strand that always goes between the front and back bar and then yarn over and then pick up your loop and we should have 10 loops, hopefully. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that's our forward pass for the Tunisian reverse stitch. And now we're going to do the return pass, just like we always do. Yarn over, chain 1. Yarn over, go through 2. Yarn over, go through 2 and just continue like that till we get to the other end now and that and when we only have one loop we're done
There we go. That is, oops, I didn't grab it, did I? <laughs> okay, so that's the reverse stitch. And basically the reverse stitch um, gets you these little um, horizontal bars. And just continue that way until you've got your 10 by 10 swatch. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll compare our swatches. <laughs> See you in a bit. Have fun. Okay, so I finished my 10 by 10 swatch. And in patterns, you'll see this stitch as um, TRS, Tunisian Reverse Stitch. Okay, so you'll recognize it if you if the pattern calls for a TRS stitch. That's what it is. It's a Tunisian Reverse Stitch that they're asking for. <laughs> um, so anyway, and this is what it looks like in the back. I almost like the back better. But here it is, the Tunisian Reverse Stitch. And... There's no Tunisian curl, so this is a good stitch to use if you don't want to have a Tunisian curl. You could start off with maybe a row or two of this stitch and then do the stitch of your choice for the rest of your garment. Um, another thing you could do is you could do a Tunisian reverse stitch and then a knit stitch, Tunisian reverse and then a knit, and the knit stitch you're going to learn next. So. <laughs> Um, that's another thing that you can do if you don't like how the reverse stitch looks. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and um, thank you so much for visiting me here at Made with Love by Glamma, where everything here is always made by me with love. Bye! Thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamma's channel!